so so we have an interesting one um, this is an m1 and so when we uh, but the when we start the machine uh, just, okay so it says continue holding for startup option now this is a simulation of the power button being held down so the way you boot into your boot menu on the m1s uh, uh, it's it's different from the intel machines so with the m1s you, you press and hold on the power button it tells you to continue holding now um, this what this seems like as you guys can see i'm just going to shut it down again for you guys to see so we are not holding down the power button to give us that uh, to, to, to to give us that uh, 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 that option however when the machine starts we see that when the machine starts it says continue holding the power button continue holding for startup options so this this would mean that the power button is held down or the 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 function of the power button uh, the 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 um, the signal that allows the power button to to basically it's being pulled low so th that is what is happening now that's a simulation of what is happening so the first thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the we want to disconnect the power button and see if that will change uh, so and then another thing that i did try before is to shut it down using the power button so try to shut it down using the power button and no, that is not working. So, uh, most likely what is happening is our power button is pressed down. So, it's it's in a depressed mode. So, uh, so usually the way a switch would work is, so when you, let's say you click on the button, the button should communicate and then return to its position. Now, but in a situation where the button goes, uh, communicates and then gets stuck on communication, then usually we would refer to that as, as a, a state of reset. So it would reset so it, it, it's it will be in a state of neither on or off so to say it is neither going to be on nor off so in that case as we can see the power button is not shutting the machine down and then we are also getting the we are also the machine also assumes that the power button it's 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 uh, it's on held so by so doing if we try to use the power button to shut the device down it does not shut down because it has not returned to so let's let's take this out as as a position a position a b and c so position a will be when it's neutral and then position b will be when it basically makes uh, it moves from a to b and then obviously uh, uh then from let's let's just use a and b so a will be neutral and then b will be when it makes communication so when it comes to b it's supposed to return back to a but in this case it just gets stuck on b so this is most likely what is happening so the next thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the power button and see if uh, that will change anything so now as you guys know this is a newer device it's, it's an m1 on previous designs for macbook ads the power button was part of the keyboard but the newer device the power button is separated and also uh, this being an m1 the power button has uh, multiple functions other than being able to switch on and off the device you can also uh, it also um, act as a lock which is a, a touch id also for the device so not only does it function as an on and off uh, and also to sleep as well or, or to lock the device uh, but you can also use you can also use uh, the touch uh, the touch, uh, touch id function for the device so the first thing we want to do is we want to disconnect uh, the, 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 the power switch so by so doing we will disconnect the battery first and then uh, we'll disconnect uh, the power switch see see what happens after that so this is the power switch uh, okay that is disconnected the next thing we want to do is we want to try try it again and see what happens this time Okay, let's try it again and see if the switches and the power switch is disconnected. Let's try it again and see what we get. Okay, it still says continue holding, 
for setup options. Hmm, okay. So now let us go to, uh, and then, so before we do that, let's, let's, let's do this. Uh, let us disconnect the battery. So which means our switch is not a problem, yeah? So let's disconnect the battery and then let us disconnect this so this is uh, this is the, the this is uh, the mini board where your touch id get, gets connected to and then on this mini board this is where you have um, uh, the, the speaker also get co uh, connected to the mini board and then um, and then also that mini board houses the audio jack now that mini boards communicate to the main logic board via a cable so what we want to do is we want to disconnect the cable itself and then try it again so this time we don't want to use the battery let's use the charger and see what we get and then if we get the same thing we now follow up with the signal and see what what is being pulled down so let's see what happens so it says continue holding for startup options now so what that would mean it's uh what that would mean it's uh now let us see let us see what what is there let us see what is there uh, at that section of the board. Uh, okay, so we at that section of the board we have. So this is this is where the cable uh, communicates to the main logic board. This is where the cable co uh, connects to the main logic board. The cable that connects to the mini board that you have your power button, your audio jack, and then your, your speaker. Now on that on that. This we have this function which which is which is uh, we'll be interested in the function of uh, on and off. So this is uh, the touch ID. We're not interested in that. Codec reset. We're not interested in that. Now this is what we're interested in. PMU underscore on and off. Uh, I'm just gonna move that a little closer for you guys to see. Now we are going to be interested in this signal here. Uh, PMU underscore on and off. So let us click on that. And then that signal is supposed to be high. Let's see if the signal is low. Uh, okay, so in order for us to do that, we will have to, um, so, so, okay, we, we can obviously, we can, we can measure that at this switch here. I'll show you guys that, this. So we have, we have three pads here. We have one, two, three. So we can use this to, to check that. So which is, uh, which is this switch here. So what we want to do is let's see what voltage we have here. Then that will give us an idea of what's happening. So let's just confirm that the device is still on. Okay, the device is still on. Now let's see what voltage we have at, at, that, at that pad. Okay, so uh, as, as you guys can see, our theory was right. So the signal is being pulled low. So that signal is supposed to be high. It should only be low when you 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 ask when you ask for the function. So say for example the signal is going to be three volt, yeah? yeah. And then if you want to if you want to basically get a function from it, you you pull that signal, you shut it to ground. So which is this? So it, you basically you shut it to ground. It's going to move from zero volts to it's going to move from three volts to. For example, if it is if if it, so usually so this can either be one point eight volt or or three point three volt. Now so. When it's when it's um, when is when when the signal is not active, this should be high. This signal should be high. It should either have one point five volt, or one point two volt, or one point eight volt, or three point. But however, this should be high. Now, to to uh, what that is when it is inactive. Now, in, to make it active, you need to shut this signal to ground. Which is once you shut it to ground, so what is now going to happen is the signal will, will go low, but immediately return to high. Now, but as we can see, what is happening here? The signal is low, so which means something is pulling the signal down. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. So that is why that that is why the machine assumes that you are pressing the the, the, the power button okay. is pressed down. Yes. So what we want to do now is now that we we have we have we have confirmed that that signal is it's it's a uh, it's it's low. We the, the signal is low. We want to find out which we want to find out why that is the case. So to do so, we need to take out the logic board. So like I said, guys, this is an M1 board. It's slightly uh, different from the Intel in terms of uh, some, some of the things look the same, but uh, overall, 
the, the design it's it's different from an from an Intel logic board. Uh, Peter, do you understand? Yeah. So that signal is being put down. That is why. So the, the machine assumes that the power button is depressed. Yeah. So, so what we now want to do is we want to find out what is pulling that signal down. Cable. Okay, the board is out. Let's put the shell aside. Let's just make sure this is connected so that uh, can, uh, the person putting it together may not remember to put that together. Okay, so that is that. Let's put the shell aside and then let's see what see what's happening. Let's flip the board to the other side. So now, so in order to confirm where that signal is, uh, where the, the next thing we want to do is we want to see what sections on the board has that signal. So we know we have this part has the on and off signal, and then we know a part of that signal is also going to be on U8100. We hope it has nothing to do with U8100, mm -hmm. and then. On, on part of that signal also is going to go to U40, U8440 and um, and also we su we also have a switch pad here this is a, this is also on, like the same thing we had on the other side of the board and and also here we also have that signal on, on, on the connector for the cable which is this so first thing first let us see if we have any type of corrosion at this uh, at this section of the board let's take that out there doesn't seem to be any type of corrosion okay the next thing we want to do now it's uh so let's let's come here to let's observe u for 8440 let's have let's see what that looks like so that is going to be u8440 is going to be this is going to be our u8440 this chip here now, what we want to do is, let's see what, 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 what does that chip do. So, on that chip we have p 3 v 3 aon um, AON for this newer devices is going to be always on. And then you have the NC which is not connected, you have the PMU on, the, on and off. And then you have the PMU uh, 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 RSLOC underscore RST underscore uh, L. Then you have NC, NC not connected, ground, NC, NC, charger reset in. Uh, uh, charger RST underscore iron underscore up and then you have MC so what we want to do first and first let us let us go to let us go to the schematic of U8440 and just have an idea of uh, of that chip so let's say U8440 U8440 oh, by the way the board view that we are working on for the M1 MacBook Air it's an 820 dash zero two thousand and sixteen so it's eight zero dash zero two zero one six that is uh the board number for the for the m1 macbook air so now we we are here let's see so this is it it says pmu underscore reset one eight uh, uh one v8 generation so now if we look at uh here it says charger charger reset so, so that's gonna that's gonna come out uh, at r8440 um, let's see let's see let's see uh, okay 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 mm, pm on and off l uh, it's gonna come in here okay we have button one and then button two btn is going to stand for button and then bt is going to stand for so this is button one and then button two um okay 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 so uh that signal is it's being pulled low that signal is actually coming from somewhere else so let's see where that signal is coming from we are interested in where the signal is coming from now Okay, so the signal goes into also where U8100. Okay, the signal goes in. Uh, we're interested in where the signal is coming from. So you see what we did? We had to copy. We copied that, and then we paste to see where we want to see where the signal is being created from. So here we have we have R8440. 
8324 that is going to have uh, ROA 8324 is going to have uh, 1.8 volt on one side and then the other side is going to now become uh, PMU underscore on and off L. So now let us see, let's see uh, what R8324 look like. So we copy that and then we paste it on our, uh, our board view uh, and see what that resistor looks like. So on that, that resistor is, is basically going to be our pull up now. So on one side, it's going to have 1.8 volt. And then on the other side, which, which, is, which is currently zero volt now, which is the PMU, uh, it's supposed to be 1.8 volt also. And it will only become low, lowered when the, the power button is pressed. But at, at the moment, it, it's, uh, it's basically in depressed. So that is, uh, so this is our R, so here. So you, you have 1.8 volt here, and then here you should have the same until when you press your power button. So let us look at that resistor and see what's going on. The resistor is gonna be, uh, Okay, this is going to be our resistor here. This this one, yes, that is going to be our resistor here. That resistor is going to be this. So the next thing we want to do is we want to see what do we have on the, on, on the pin one of that resistor. Then after that, let's first let's first check. Let's see what we have on the pin one of that resistor. Uh, I just hope that it's not new to one hundred because that's just gonna. Uh, Okay, let's see what we have on the pin one of that resistor. We're supposed to have, um, let's see, we're supposed to have 1.8 volt. Okay, we have 1.8 volt. And then on the other side of the resistor, what do we have? We have zero volt. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to see if we have a short on that side of the resistor. <laughs> So let's switch to diode mode. Uh, let's just hope it's not a short. So uh, for diode mode measurement, it would be great if the resistor itself is faulty, but if there is a short there, ah, uh, not because okay. Let's just now let's check. Let's uh, so for diode mode measurement, we have our red probe to ground, and then we have our black probe uh, to, for for our, our basically to, to to do our pointing far. So our red probe to ground, we switch to diode mode. So let's see what we have on that side. Let's see. Okay, that's 0395. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. So just to confirm, this is let's, uh, this is another board. Uh, let's just just to confirm. But that looks that, that's high enough. Uh, here, that is the resistor. Let's just check that. Yes, that's fine. That that is fantastic. I have to leave that here. I am super happy that it's not a short because if it was a short, nah, you don't want to. So now the next thing we want to do is let's now switch to uh, let's let's go to uh, switch it to ohms, switch our, 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 our multimeter to ohms, and then see what the value of that resistor is. Okay, first thing first. Uh, okay, it's it's uh, two hundred kilohms. Ten. So let's check the value of that resistor. So that's ten kilos. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. That's uh, exactly what it should be. Ten. Okay, let's switch it to twenty. It's just uh, just to be sure. Resistor is fine. Okay. Uh, the resistor is fine. Uh, okay, that is not a good thing. We wanted the resistor not to be fine, so we can blame the resistor, which would uh, that is exactly what it should be 10 kilohms. Okay, let's let's check it again. Let's check it again and see. Uh, uh, let's check it again, see what's happening. Haha, <laughs> that, that's not good. Okay, let's just check again. Switch back to voltage mode. It's on uh, pin 1, 1 1.8, and then pin 2 of the resistor. Now it's working. Huh? Now, now it's working. 1.8, 1 1.8. 1 Isn't it sometimes it's coming and sometimes it's. Uh... 
No, it was zero. You saw that. So yeah. let's check this again. What do we have? Now 1.8. Okay, so just to be safe, let's, resist, let's replace that resistor because I, I, yeah, let's have it replaced. And yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you saw the, the first time it was, it was indeed zero. Uh, but now, this is, uh, uh, yeah, let's just replace it and uh, hope that it is just a failing resistor and not something uh, on, on, on the output of that resistor because that will not be good. Okay, that it's, uh, uh, okay, replacing that. Okay, use this. Okay, let's use this. Let's take the key from here. Okay. Okay, so that is replaced. Um, uh, okay, so just uh, let's, let's let's put. I, I I usually like okay, let's put this back from this port I took. Let's put this back here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what's happening now. Put the cable back. No, it's not uh, that's not a board. This is the board. Okay, let's see what we have in our PMU. Do we have zero volt or 1.8 volt? Okay, so, so it was not resistor. So now we have zero volt again. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we measure that resistor, we will get 1.8. And then the other side? get zero volt now this is this is not good so what we want to do now is we want to see okay first thing first let us uh, let's take out uh, this is not good so so what is most likely happening it's the output of that signal it's where we're having an issue so let us first remove U40, U8440 and see what happens. See if the signal will be, if there will be any changes. Okay, so if U8440, so the idea is if that was, so the idea is uh, if uh, the, the, the signal is being pulled down by U40, U8440, with, with U8440 not being on the circuitry, then the signal should be high. And if it's not high, it means our problem was not U8440, uh, 
8440. Now, if we look at if we look at the board, so that signal is connected here, U8440. It's connected uh, here on this connector. But another thing we want to do is also let us uh, okay before that, before that, because uh, okay yeah before that because we know that the, the signal is also on the connector here. So sometimes if you have a forty cable, the cable can also pull down your signal. Uh, so let us. Uh, uh, so this is one one of it. This is one 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 point where it make connections. This is a pad, uh, and then here, and then the scary side of it being U eighty one hundred. I don't want it to be U eighty one hundred. That is nah. You don't want it. There. Because when you when you are getting one point eight, uh, the cable wasn't connected. When you connect the cable, then we. Yeah, but also, but also remember that even without the cable not connect, even with the cable not connected, we remember we had taken this out, and then we tried to measure, and it was still zero volt. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, so yeah, let's let us disconnect the cable, and then try and see what we have. Uh, that 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 will be an interesting one. Uh, see what we have. Uh, do we have 1.8 volt and then on the other side 1.8 volt okay now the, the next thing we want to do is we want to put back the cable and see if our problem is the cable or u44 uh i, I don't want anything to add that i don't add you nah you don't want it. you don't want that shit to be faulty just gonna mess with everything Okay, so that is connected. Now let's see. To be interesting, if the cable also plays a role, I mean, I'll be interested if the cable is our problem 1.8. Okay, it's okay. Cable. So now this is interesting part. Remember, the cable wasn't connected, but still. No. You think so? Yeah. Okay, so now let's put back. Let's put that back. And then, now another thing is, it may be the cable, it may be the connector itself. We don't know. Yeah. But first of all, first and first, let us put our chip back. Okay, chip it's in some place. The next thing we want to do is we want to we want to put. Let's install another cable. Uh, so if it's still low, then it means that our problem is the connector, not the cable. Not not the connector, so to say. But let's just. Uh, okay, that let's let's uh, we can verify that. Let's yet let's. Install a different cable, see what we get. Okay. So different cable installed. I do have a pin one, one point eight, pin two, one point eight. Okay, that looks good. Looks promising. So the last thing we want to do is now let's see. Uh, how interesting is it that that the problem was so the cable was pulling the signal down? Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. We have any changes. is an interesting one okay uh, let's take one or two screws to hold the board in place
Okay. Uh, let's see if we have any difference in the behavior. Initially, because of that signal was good, uh, was low, uh, the, the machine would always assume the, the, the power button is in depressed state. Uh, and also in that state, it wouldn't, the machine wouldn't boot. Uh, so right now, let's see if we have any changes. And uh, yeah, and then as, as you guys also know before, we wouldn't, we will not also be able to use the power button to do anything. The power button wouldn't work obviously because the function is being, uh, 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 it's almost being non-functional or non-available because it's because of the state of the power button. So now let's pray, let's uh, connect our charger and see if we will have the same. Okay. Okay. Our device is booting. Uh, it no longer says continue pressing power button. So, but this is a little bit different now. Yes, it's booting, but uh, what is it doing? It's trying to boot, but okay, that's different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it's it's another guy saying continue holding so um uh but we're not sure why it's doing that let's yeah, just it's uh, it yeah it, it's it's possible that it's not properly installed Maybe. yeah okay so let's try let's check it out let's check out uh, yeah okay but now it's trying to do something different <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's just uh, restart it and see if uh, we get something different. We have feedback on the trackpad. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. It's uh Okay, so the couple of things we could do here. Um, um, behind door number one, we could um, disconnect the cable, the newly introduced cable, yeah. disconnect it and see if it's going to behave uh, still. We could revive, put the device in DFU mode and revive it. We could do that. Or we could go check out U4480, yes? Because it may be that, that it's not fully installed. However, the, the way it behaves, there's a so so you see uh, so okay ah, okay hmm Let's see uh, okay. The computer put it to cover because of a problem. There is an error sign in your Mac. Resolve Mac OS to resolve the issue. Okay. Okay, that could be why. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, I'm thinking we should uh, reinstall Mac OS. Maybe that will fix it. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's see what we have on uh, client needed data. Okay, so before we okay, so let's do this. Um, uh, 
Let's see. Uh, used. Hmm. 18 of 29 of 3. 38 gigs. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, 156 added volume. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Let's. Okay, let's try to boot the device in DFU mode. Uh, yeah, let's start the device in DFU mode. And uh, revive it. Let's, let's try to revive it. Instead of... Uh, yeah, let's... And I said before, we, we're not able to use the power button to switch it off. Yeah, so. Okay, so the device is in DFU mode. Let's try to uh, revive it. If, uh, revive, I don't, I, don't, I don't think revive is going to work. <sighs> okay. I, I, I doubt revive is going to work, but the whole point of us doing this is because we are trying to save the client's data. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see if we can save the client's data, and um, and then the. the the reason why we are not so much uh, considering the other two options, which is to re to resolve the, uh, let's just go back to that chip, uh, to resolve the U44 uh, 40, and also to, uh, to basically disconnect the newly introduced cable, is because of its consistency. So we can see that the first boot is consistently, it, it, you have three attempted boots, and then it goes into recovery. Yeah. So the first time we did that exactly that, and then the second time we did exactly that. So if U40, U8440 was an issue, or the newly introduced cable was an issue, it wouldn't behave the way it's behaving now. I mean, the, the loop should, I mean, it should continue doing that. It, sh it shouldn't do that after three attempts and then put in two. So th th that, is, th that is one way to look at it. Um, and then also, uh, it could it could also be because of uh, so the operating system having an issue. So before we reinstall the operating system, uh, first let's see if revive will work uh, because that way we will be able to save the client's data. However, the client has given go ahead that if we cannot save the data, we can reinstall uh, uh, the machine. They're just really much interested in getting the, the device back and uh, up and running. So. Basically, um, I would say 80% of our work is done. The only thing we, I mean, um, so now we can use the power button. Now the device is no longer as, as, as saying, keep, I mean, the device is behaving completely different from what it was doing. And this is slightly, slightly different. This is slightly, uh, I would say the job is not complete, but we are 80% done with the job. So we will try to revive it. If revive doesn't work, we just restart the operating system, and that will solve the issue. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that will solve the issue. If that doesn't solve the issue, I mean, we have solved the first, the major issue, which is basically uh, uh, the, the 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 on and off signal being pulled down. That has been addressed, um, and the, the 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 part of it not booting. So um, um, and and also because of the, the signals that are attached here, because of the signals. On the output of uh, U forty four forty, let's see that. So we look at the signals here. U forty four forty. The signals that so we have a VDD. Obviously, this is going to be uh, powered up. What uh, this, the, the voltage that powers the chip, and then it gets uh, these two signals are in signals. So, and then out you will have charge of reset L. Uh, so at R um, eighty four forty, then you should have. 
tell me, wasn't this the resistor that we was it was it that? No, no, it wasn't. No, let's just see that. What resistor was it? Okay, that was R eighty three eighty three twenty four. So yeah, that's different. So uh, so yeah so so the what we will be expecting to uh, normally act as a pull down. So uh, we, we do not we, we uh, so at this from the behavior of the machine U eighty four forty is active. If U eighty four forty wasn't active, uh, we would expect to be the machine to behave differently. So. We will just wait for the for the revive option to complete. If that doesn't fix the problem, we'll just reinstall. The client has given a guy to install it, and uh, that will be the end of uh, the repair. So uh, I'm 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 gonna uh, just wait for 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 this to complete, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, let's just wait for that to complete, and we we'll probably have to fast forward to the completion so that then I don't have to get you guys waiting for this to complete.